Hello there, my name's Mark and welcome to the Whiskey Critic for another whiskey review. Now we're going to divert away from the whiskies for a moment and we're going to talk about glasses and glassware and what you should be using to drink your whiskey with. There's lots of different glasses you can use, but let's get the elephant in the room out the way to begin with. Uh, I'm talking about shot glasses. Now you often see it in films, particularly American films. Someone walks into a bar, they order a whiskey, it gets presented to them in a shot glass. The punter then proceeds to grab the shot glass and chuck it down their neck. And then they'll order another one. Shot glasses have absolutely no place with whiskey. None whatsoever. Whiskey's a drink you should be looking to enjoy, to savour. You should pour yourself a glass and drink it over hours. It's not something you just chuck down the back of your neck. There's been years of tradition, years of distillation, years of maturation, only for that very last moment when you're supposed to enjoy the whiskey, you pick up a shot glass and you throw it down your neck. You don't taste it, you don't smell it, nothing. You just chuck it down your neck in the hope that you can get as drunk as possible. So maybe some of my American thing, friends will be able to correct me. Um, I'm hoping that when you go into a bar, you don't order a whiskey and automatically get a shot glass. So that shot glass is out of the way. They have no place in whiskey whatsoever, and uh, anyone who wants to enjoy their whiskey should steer clear of them completely. The next glass we have here, we have one of my dad's crystal tumblers. Um, it's quite an old fashioned way of drinking whiskey, a crystal tumbler. Uh, very popular to most whiskey drinkers, but the problem you have with the whiskey tumbler is the, 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 the smells, the fragrances from the whiskey get lost in this large bulbous glass. So when you do put it to your nose to smell it, you're, you're not really getting the character and essence of the whiskey. So if you're drinking a whiskey that you've nosed a lot, that you've tasted a lot, then this is absolutely fine. If, if, if you just want to go in, have a drink, and not you're not putting any time into the whiskey, then it's absolutely fine. Um, but generally, when I'm drinking whiskey, I go for one of these two bad boys. Now first, this is the Glen Karen glass. Um, Glen Karen glasses were developed by Glen Karen and whiskey distillers. The point of the glass is that the whiskey sits in this bulbous bottom here. It helps it to really open up and then the fragrances and scents are pushed up into this narrow tube which allows you to bring your nose to it and really get what the whiskey is about, what the whiskey is trying to tell you. Very good glass. I use this one quite a bit. I got this from the Arndale Distillery. I'm hoping to sample some of their whiskies in the near future. They're a new distillery, so it will be a couple of years before I do. It's an excellent glass. It, you can hold it. It's very comfortable to hold. Uh, hold it on your fingertips. It allows you to gently swirl the whiskey and really get the essence of the fragrance of the whiskey. So that's a very good glass to use. My favourite glass is this tulip, sort of a sherry type glass actually. It does the same job as the Glencairn. It allows for the whisky to open up in a bulbous bottom and it has a narrowing of the neck, which again pushes those flavours up. What I like about it is the stem at the bottom because it allows me to twizzle the glass to help the whiskey open up. Push that finger back. I'm going for the old lady cup of tea look again. And uh, yeah, this is this this is my favourite glass, but I use these two interchangeably when I'm drinking my whiskey. So just to recap, if you've got a shot glass, chuck it away. The whiskey tumbler, they come in all different shapes and sizes. Good glasses. But they don't help let you capture that essence of the whiskey. By far, the best two glasses 
to be used is the Glen Karen and the tulip shaped glass with stem. I'm sure it has a name, but for the life of me, I can't remember. So the next review that I'll be doing, we're going to be coming south of the border. We're going down to the lowlands, to the very low lowlands, and we're going for an English whiskey. So it'll be one of the English whiskey companies, whiskies. Uh, one of my favourites, they're quite local to me, and uh, we're going to get into that in the next review. So, cheers. <laughs>